What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. I'm back with another tutorial focusing on the second part of the SI instruments. If you recall, I did a video um, some months ago or maybe a month ago or however long it was, but uh, I had gotten to talking about the SI instruments, but I did not talk about the string section. So I'm going to focus on the string section and then focus a little bit more on the other instruments to answer any questions that you may have about how to use it. So first things first, I already created a track for a string section. If you're not sure how to do that, all you have to do is just right click. Um, I, I call it a little gray section. You know, there's probably an actual name for it, but right click and insert instrument and then go to SI string section. Once you have it created, then basically all you need to do is click on the little keyboard, right? That's on the track and you'll hear sound. I am using my Impact LX25 by Nectar. Um, so if you don't have a controller, you definitely can use your mouse to play the sounds, which is what I'm doing right now, or you can use the virtual controller. And if you're not sure how to get to that, uh, go to views and then go to virtual controller and then you can use the computer keyboard or the piano keyboard, either one. Uh, but if you have a controller that's already plugged up, great. So now I have this little beat that I created and uh, let's, let's remember what it sounded like because it was just something that I did at the spur of the moment. So it's a little something different. All right. Now, this is sectioned to three different parts. It has the violin, it has the cello, and it has the bass. I don't know why they don't have a viola. So when you know you go from certain notes, it's going to switch to that other instrument. So I'm on violin. Okay, so when I get to, um, this is my middle C right here. And then when I go to B right below that, then it switches to the cello. And then the cello will be there and then still in cello range. And when I go down an octave, okay. So when I go, it seems like when I go from C to B, I switch to the other instrument. So now on the bass, there is attack on here. So you can, it's kind of like compression. Basically you control that the attack and release. You can add chorus on it. You can add reverb to it. Uh, you can change the tone. Okay, just gonna make it if you want a more darker sound. If you want it brighter. All right. Double clicking it will put it back at center. Of course, you can tune it. Uh, if you wanted to raise it semitones or something like that, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Of course, there is a setup just like all the other. There are patterns in here that you can do. Sounds very familiar, chord, chord progression wise. <clears throat> um, you can pan each instrument. You can turn the volume up individually for each instrument. And you can also change the sounds just like all the other SI instruments. Uh, let's do like a slow pad. What that sounds like. Pretty beautiful. Uh, that would be great if I was going for something that's more suspenseful. Uh, suspenseful. I'm sorry, you all. I'm having a hard time talking today. Uh, whew. All right. So anyway, but say I wanted to go ahead and record something. Uh, I'm going to go up an octave. And I'm just going to use a cello for now. Um, once again, this is not 
dealing with proper theory and proper uh, placement of these notes. I'm just doing this for a tutorial purpose, uh, even though the progression that I created is totally different. I, I mean, I might feed off of it, might do something to it, but uh, this is not going to sound like sonically correct. I'll put it like that. Oops. Started recording. I need to go back to the beginning. Oh, if you want to, if you want to go back to the beginning, you can press W on your keyboard and that'll take you back. Sorry, I keep bumping into my mic. Let's record. Now, you're listening to that and you're like, guy, you weren't even in the same key of the song that you were playing. You weren't even nowhere near the chords. Correct. Like I said, this is just for, just so you can get an idea of how to record it. This is the basic function of these sounds. Awesome. Sounds good. Now, that answers that question. So these are all the SI kits that come with that. I wish it came with a guitar or something else, but it does not. Let's go back. Let's go back to the drum kit. When you go back to the drum kit. <clears throat> um, so if I wanted to change anything on this drum kit, remember, I can go up here and can change the program. But if you wanted to change the sounds, like if I wanted this time to be different, you can right click on the instrument at the bottom, and then now I can change it to a high time, okay? Same thing with my snare, I can change my snare. Uh, maybe I want the side stick, or maybe I want the electric snare. All right, maybe I just want the regular snare. Keep in mind that this is sensitive, so wherever you hit, wherever you hit, it's going to uh, give you a different sound so so if I hit right in the center it's gonna be more present if I want more of the, the rim then I can hit closer to the edge of the rim all right so that's pretty cool um, yes the drums are you know the the sounds on here are somewhat limited but if you are able to mix it right um, you know, tweak it the way you want to tweak it, then you definitely can record a song with just using these instruments. Uh, is it helpful to have more plugins? Yes, it definitely is helpful to have more plugins. But you can get the job done just with what you have. And that's what I am all about for this channel is helping you achieve your musical goals or work towards your musical goals that uh, you can just work with whatever you have. Um, you don't need a lot to make something that's really good, okay? Even if you just got, you know, these instruments here, and, you know, and if you're a guitar player, that's fine. Maybe you can plug in your acoustic guitar, and you can add some guitar to it. But if you don't have guitar, you don't know how to play guitar, you can always go in here and use the, you know, I, I would use the bass guitar. Like, I can use the bass guitar and play guitar parts. Um, you know, I would, I would choose a different sound, but... Um, let's see if I wanted to create a guitar part, um, I can do this or I can do the, uh, straight MIDI, I mean a straight, uh, TTS, which is basically general MIDI sounds. But if I wanted to use the bass guitar, I can record some type of guitar part. I record another part and on this one, let's find something like a mute. Let's see, crunchy mute. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah. So now it doesn't go as high as I might want it to go for a guitar, but that is okay because I could always put like an effect on it to make it go higher. 
or I can tune it up. Okay, so I can do something like that. Let me see. See what this is going to sound like. This is experimentation, you all. This is on the fly experimentation. more that I listen to this, I'm like, oh my God, it sounds like, I don't know, it sounds crazy, bizarre. Okay, now, like, check this out. Like, if I wanted to do more to this guitar sound, I could apply an effect to it, and I can apply an effects chain, or I can go down here, effects, and let me find out where it is. There is the TH, where is it at? Distortion, Dynamics, Filter, Guitar. There it is, TH3. The TH3 is fabulous. All right, it comes with Cakewalk. And I can apply some sounds, I mean, like some effects to this to really make it sound more like a guitar if I wanted to. So maybe I wanted to add a fuzz to it. Um, see what that sounds like. So I can play with stuff, you know. Okay. All right. So you get the idea of that, you all. It, I mean, you just have fun with these instruments and uh, you try to create whatever you can with what you have. Now. Am I saying only use the plugins within Cakewalk? I'm not saying that at all. You definitely should invest in whatever you think that you need. But I'm here to tell you that this is all, this is the bare necessity of what you need. Um, like I said, if Cakewalk came with a guitar, that would be great. But you do have the general MIDI TTS, um, which is very helpful. So I can go down to General MIDI, KYTTS, and this has some decent sounds in it. Uh, these are like generic sounds. But once again, you can take those generic sounds and you can add some compression and some EQ and add a little effects to it. And you can make it sound like something totally different. So you all just, just keep in mind that with any instrument or any plugin that you use, you can always manipulate it to make it sound different. So, and that's what, that's the best thing about audio engineering is that you can manipulate sound um, and make something that that wasn't even there, you know. And that's a, that's the way a lot of music was made back in the day is that stuff was just experimented on, you know. Um, you know, what happens if I take this instrument and instead of um, 
you know, instead of playing it this way, maybe I add, you know, I don't know, add some tape to it or whatever. Like I add some tape to the bell of my trumpet. What is it going to do to the sound? Is it going to change the sound a little bit? Yeah, it's going to change the sound a little bit. Uh, well, I like that sound, you know, so these are the things that you need to think of. And when you're working on your project, you never know what's going to come out of what you're working on. So don't, don't stay in the box, you know, don't stay in that box, get up out the box because there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, this is a short tutorial, you all. My time is crazy right now. I'm back teaching full time at school. So uh, this is just very short tutorial to help you out. All right. If you liked what you saw, definitely subscribe. Click the notification bell so that way you get notified every time I post a new video. All right. Love you all. Thank you for 300 plus subscribers. I'm on my way, you all. I'm on my way. Thank you. All right. Take care.